I was talking about encryption in class one day and put a simple example on the board. I was just about to move on when Amanda's hand shot up. Now, Miss Fish never raises her hand, so I stopped while she copied the message. A few minutes later, her hand shot up again. Amanda had taught herself how to solve a monoalphabetic substitution cipher, all on her own. I do love to teach Amanda Fish. But now she needs new and harder challenges, and I'm out of class time. How can I keep her engaged once she leaves my classroom? This happens all the time. I brush past an example or I go on a short tangent, and my kids want me to go further down that road, and you know I want to take them. But I've discovered that when I give them a challenge, they rise to the occasion. If I give them the opportunity, they'll teach themselves the things that they're interested in. I've made breakout challenges and medals and demos and created interactive websites, but I'm always looking for new and better ways to introduce my kids to ideas beyond the beaten path. I want to help them learn to teach themselves, even when they aren't in the classroom. And I want to exchange ideas with the very best teachers out there and join you at the Google Innovator Academy.